Coping with cubicles. Cubicles are one of the ways that offices and businesses are able to manage large numbers of employees without providing individual offices. These close quarters allow for efficient business, but can lead to conflict between coworkers due to the small shared spaces. You can consider three things when you're trying to cope with cubicles. These are coping with small spaces, coping with noise, and coping with coworkers. Part one, coping with small space. There are many ways that you can learn how to cope with the small working space of a cubicle. You can use organization tools to stay productive. Calendars, whiteboards, and day planners will all help you keep your appointments and tasks in order so you don't fall behind. Try to get a cubicle with a window or in the view of a window to maximize the illusion of a large space. You can also decorate your space to suit your personality. This will make your cubicle more appealing and inviting. Family pictures, plants, and knickknacks will all make you feel more at home in your cube. But make sure to check company policy so you don't violate any office rules while you're decorating. Coping with noise. Noise is a constant problem for productivity. Some people prefer background noise and others have to have silence. You probably know what you are already. Depending on which you are, however, you will need a different strategy to deal with the problem. There are several causes of noise pollution in the office. Phones ringing and people talking on them, televisions, radios, computers, and constant office chatter are just a few. Regardless of your preference, these noises are probably a distraction to you. A good pair of noise-canceling headphones is an optimal solution. That, along with your computer or favorite music player, can provide an entertaining work experience, drowning out the bustle of the office. Or you can just use them to work in blissful silence. If you prefer silence and don't want to spend a lot of money on a nice pair of headphones, consider earplugs. Another possibility is a white noise machine. However, you will have to get permission from your office mates to use something like that. Because of the close proximity to your coworkers, problems can arise quickly. These problems include, but are not limited to, coworkers looking over your shoulder while you work, strong smelling deodorants or body odors, office theft, and the biggest one of all, loud neighbors. If you encounter any of these problems while working, the best thing you can do is to try to talk with them to address the problem. If a solution can't be reached, contact management to set up an appointment. Coping with cubicles is as simple as learning to manage the small space, noise, and close contact with coworkers. By following these simple guidelines, you will be able to remain productive and work efficiently in a workspace that uses cubicles. Baby monkey.